The universe may not have begun with a bang after all. For over a century, the Big Bang has been the leading explanation for how everything started, from a single, hot, dense point to the vast cosmos we see today. But a bold new theory by Dr. Richard Liu suggests a different origin. Countless rapid, invisible bursts scattered across space-time called transient temporal singularities. In this video, we'll explore what this theory means, how it challenges the Big Bang, redefines gravity, and offers a fresh take on dark matter and dark energy. Let's dive into one of the most exciting shifts in modern cosmology. The Big Bang Theory has long offered a consistent and mathematically supported framework for how the universe came into existence. According to this model, all space, time, matter, and energy were compressed into an extremely small point. Then came an event of unimaginable intensity, expansion rather than a traditional explosion, that launched the universe into existence. This idea is supported by several lines of evidence, including the cosmic microwave background radiation, the observed abundance of light elements, and the redshift of galaxies indicating the universe is still expanding. Yet despite its successes, the Big Bang model relies heavily on hypothetical constructs to explain phenomena it struggles to address directly. Two of the most puzzling are dark matter and dark energy, mysterious components believed to make up roughly 95% of the universe's energy content. Dark matter was proposed to explain the unexpectedly rapid rotation of galaxies, a phenomenon first revealed by Vera Rubin's work in the 1970s. Stars at the edges of galaxies move too quickly for visible matter alone to hold them together. Similarly, in 1998, astronomers observed that the universe's expansion was accelerating, not slowing down. This led to the introduction of dark energy, a theoretical repulsive force filling space. Even after decades of research, both dark matter and dark energy remain unconfirmed by direct observation. Their persistent invisibility has prompted some physicists to explore radically different ideas about how the universe works. One of the boldest comes from Dr. Richard Liu, a physics professor at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. In a recent paper published in Classical and Quantum Gravity, Liu introduces the concept of transient temporal singularities, extremely rapid, localized bursts in space-time that generate matter and energy. Rather than imagining a universe born from one singular point, Liu's model envisions billions of these bursts occurring independently across the fabric of reality. These events unfold at such high speeds and at such fine scales that they evade current detection. However, their cumulative effects, Liu argues, could account for the universe's large-scale structure and expansion without needing to invoke the Big Bang. What's particularly intriguing is that Liu's theory doesn't just propose a new beginning, it offers a possible replacement for both dark matter and dark energy. According to this model, the gravitational pull and accelerating expansion we observe may simply be the side effects of these singularity bursts. When a burst occurs, it produces matter and injects energy into space-time, creating localized gravitational distortions and expansion episodes. Once the burst ends, those effects dissipate. In this view, dark matter and dark energy are not constant features of the cosmos, but fleeting phenomena tied to specific creation events. If proven, this theory could radically reshape our understanding of the universe, not as a singular event, but as a dynamic and decentralized process. It proposes that cosmic creation is still happening, scattered like invisible sparks across the canvas of space-time, and the forces we've labeled dark might just be the fading echoes of those brief and powerful bursts. One of the most fascinating and controversial claims of Liu's theory is the idea that gravity might exist independently of mass. This challenges one of the central pillars of Einstein's general relativity, which has guided physics for over a century. According to Einstein's framework, mass and energy curve spacetime, 
and that curvature is what we perceive as gravity. In essence, gravity is not a force in the traditional sense, but a geometric effect caused by mass. Liu diverges sharply from this view. He suggests that gravitational effects could emerge from massless topological defects, irregularities in the structure of space-time that don't contain physical mass. In a 2024 paper published in the Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, he argues that these defects can generate gravitational fields indistinguishable from those produced by massive objects, especially on cosmological scales. This concept could offer a revolutionary explanation for galaxy rotation curves and other phenomena currently attributed to dark matter. Instead of invoking an invisible substance, perhaps the extra gravitational pull in galaxies results from these massless distortions in space-time, created, again, by transient singularities. It's a striking shift from conventional thinking and one that invites a deeper exploration of what gravity actually is. But Liu's theory goes even further by reintroducing the idea of negative pressure. In 1917, Einstein added a cosmological constant to his equations to keep the universe static, a move he later regretted. That constant represented a uniform energy density pushing outward, counteracting gravity. Decades later, the concept was revived to explain the observed acceleration of cosmic expansion, rebranded as dark energy. In Liu's framework, negative pressure is not a universal background force. It appears only during the fleeting moments of singularity bursts. These bursts temporarily inflate regions of space, contributing to the universe's expansion in a non-continuous, jump-like manner. Rather than a smooth, uninterrupted inflation since the Big Bang, the universe grows through brief pulses of expansion triggered by these bursts. This punctuated growth model offers a new perspective on cosmic expansion. It doesn't require a constantly active dark energy field, but it still aligns with observed acceleration patterns, just with a different mechanism. If these bursts are happening throughout cosmic history, then what we've interpreted as a steady acceleration might actually be the net result of countless, discrete inflationary events. If verified, Liu's claims would represent a seismic shift in our understanding of gravity and cosmic expansion. It paints a picture of a self-organizing universe, driven not by singular forces, but by spontaneous, local transformations in space-time. Gravity, in this view, is not the inevitable result of mass, but a byproduct of space-time's evolving geometry. Dr. Liu's theory enters a vibrant and evolving scientific landscape where cosmologists are actively reassessing long-standing assumptions. Several competing theories have also questioned the Big Bang model's reliance on unproven phenomena like singularities, dark energy, and an initial moment of infinite density. One notable example is Bounce cosmology, which envisions the universe in a constant cycle of contraction and expansion. According to this model, the universe never had a true beginning. Instead, it oscillates through endless phases of collapse and rebirth, with each bounce giving rise to a new cosmic era. This avoids the problem of an initial singularity altogether. Another alternative is the emergent universe model, which proposes that the cosmos existed in a quasi-static state for an infinite amount of time before gradually transitioning into expansion. This smooth transition eliminates the need for a sudden explosive beginning, offering a more continuous evolution of space-time. From the realm of string theory, string gas cosmology introduces a different twist. It suggests that the early universe was filled with one-dimensional strings rather than particles, and that thermal and dimensional dynamics in this environment prevented the formation of singularities. This model also explains why only three spatial dimensions expanded to form our observable universe. Liu's singularity burst theory shares a key feature with these models, a rejection of a singular, definitive beginning. But where it diverges is in its mechanism. Instead of relying on cycles or pre-existing states, Liu proposes a universe constantly being created in pockets, localized flashes of space-time that drive evolution from within. 
This novel mechanism opens the door to testable predictions. For instance, if cosmic expansion has happened in bursts rather than smoothly, we might detect subtle discontinuities or jumps in the Hubble diagram, which charts the redshift of galaxies relative to their distances. These anomalies could hint at sudden spurts of expansion in the universe's history. Such evidence might also appear in the cosmic microwave background or the large-scale distribution of galaxies. With tools like the James Webb Space Telescope and the upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory, astronomers may soon be equipped to detect these patterns, if they exist. Even if such evidence doesn't immediately emerge, the value of Lu's theory lies in its power to provoke new questions. It challenges assumptions we've taken for granted and invites fresh perspectives on what the universe is and how it works. That's the hallmark of a truly important scientific idea. Not that it provides all the answers right away, but that it compels us to look again, more deeply and more curiously. Thank you for watching. Stay curious, keep questioning, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this deep dive into the universe's origins. We've got more mind-expanding content coming your way, so hit that bell icon and join us on the next journey through the cosmos.